It's an urge. Truth be told, every champion has felt it. Every president has felt it. Every king has felt it. Every lion has felt it. Every winner has felt it. Every soldier has felt it. Every victorious person has felt it. The urge to quit. Don't you give up on your dream. If I can take it, I can make it. If you can take it, you can make it. I want to remind y'all that where you currently are in your life, drugs, alcohol, friends and family that are dying, whatever you're going through personally, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, will not dictate what the outcome of your life and your career is destined to be. I'm asking that you don't give up. Sometimes a setback is a setup for the greatest blessings of all times. You will always grow through what you go through. I don't care if you don't have the money, you don't have the help, and you don't have the family for it, and you don't have the background for it, and you don't have the friends for it. Don't you give up on your dream. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. If you can just keep believing when nothing in you is working, when all your external forces have given way, if you can just manage to somehow keep hoping, you have a chance. You just can't become hopeless. If you can just keep hope alive, you can make it. Because if you keep hoping, it is really faith. You just got to transpose it into I hope this happened to I believe this can happen. It may take you twice as long. You may have to take courses and classes. You may not read as fast. You might not move as quick. You might not have as much. But don't you quit. Don't you quit. Don't you quit. You do make a difference. As weak as you are, as tired as you are, as many mistakes as you made, you do make a difference. There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make a difference. You do make a difference. Life is like a grindstone. It can polish you or it can pulverize you, depending on how you position yourself. There's one side of pain that's the suffering and the discomfort side of pain. But then there's another side of pain that's called effort. It's called glory. It's called if you can find a way to push through pain, there's something greater on the other side of it. You may be stressed and overwhelmed. You may not be comfortable with your situation, but stop the next devil that tries to tell you you don't have what it takes. I may have some black eyes and some bruises. I may even lost some teeth, but I'm still here. I didn't give in. I didn't back up. I didn't faint. I didn't collapse. I didn't run even when I wanted to. Every time you find yourself saying that you can't do something, putting yourself down, being negative about you and the possibilities for you, you've got to literally catch yourself and you've got to affirm to yourself, hey, hey, no, 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 I can make it there's some way this can happen for me. You've got to remind yourself that you've got powers within you, talents within you that you haven't even reached for yet. That once you give yourself an opportunity to try and to experiment with your life, to stretch, you'll find out you can do more than you could ever begin to imagine. I kept the faith. I kept it. I lost a lot of stuff. I lost a lot of friends. I lost a lot of strength. I lost a lot of courage. I lost a lot of time. I lost a lot of money. But I kept down on my knees. I was still believing. Broke, I was believing. Lonely, I was believing. Betrayed, I was still believing. 
Think it not strange that these trials have come upon you. This is a part of your job. You got put through that because what that does, that tension produces greatness. Stop running from it and run to it.